this one's retiring. And, and it makes me sad because it's retiring, but I would also say, I, I hope that it, it wasn't sent away. And I, I just wanted to, to, to give a shout out to all the teams that, that played in it. What do I mean sent away? Well, I, I think I, Here's the, the new segment on the program. Let me preface this statement by saying this. I know that a lot of goes into a bowl game, and there's so many things to factor in, not just for the people who oversee it, but for the, the universities and the athletic departments that go. There's so much that goes into it. Money is a big, big deal. And how to allocate, not just the money itself, but how to allocate that money. I mean, you've got to take care of food for all the people that are going, especially and the athletes, take care of them. The lodging, have to make sure that there are hotels and everything's taken care of that way. The transportation to get it done. <clears throat> the transportation, not only of the athletes themselves, but of the equipment. You got to get that there. Um, you've got to be, uh, take care of, well, I mean, gifts, if you will. The, the sponsors usually take care of that, but the gifts that go in, the schools that have to do, they, it's extra promotion tickets. They're given allotted tickets. And you know, if you don't sell all the tickets, are you going to have to eat that money as well? There's a lot that goes into it from the, the money perspective. So many things, logistics that are involved. It is a lot for an athletic department to do. And I understand that. So in saying that, you know, it, it would be easy for me to sit here and say, well, you know, it's just one more game that can be done. It's more than just one more game. It's a game that was not necessarily prepared for at the outset of the season. You have your regular season. This is extra. It has to be done quickly. It has to be, the decision has to be made. Then all the activity that has to be done to get it ready to go with all the thing, the food and the lodging and the money and the tickets and the promotion and all those things have to be done. So I understand that it's not that easy to do. And that's why I want to give a shout out to all of the programs who did go to the Live United Bowl. I hope that it wasn't sent out or sent away because of a, an idea of playoffs or bust. I just want to give that shout out to all the, the programs who said, you know what, we're going to give our athletes one more game this year. We're going to give our fans one more thing to be excited about this year. We're going to, to take people for a ride. We're going to sew in. Yes, there's money involved. Yes, there's a little less sleep than I'm going to be getting right now and for the, the upcoming two or three weeks before this gets started. Yes, there's going to be more practice. Yes, there, there are going to be more things to do to get it done, but we want to get it done for our kids. We want to get it done for our fans. We want to get it done. And look, a win is another win for the program's records. And even a loss says we went to the postseason. We had a season that was worth celebrating enough. We got to play an extra game. I've talked to coaches over the years and, and the benefits of going to a bowl game, the extra practices, the opportunities to get players in practices that maybe weren't seeing as much time as the season went on because you, you start looking at what are we going to do to wind up this season? If we're playing well, we're going to be going with the we, – we might even be contracting our rotation a little bit. I realize that's more of a basketball look than, than football. But, but some of the players who are your starters are going to get more playing time, building up, trying to push for something at the end of the season. Extra practices mean extra opportunities, some more reps for that redshirt freshman that didn't get enough time. More opportunities to get to see something from your third string running back that maybe you didn't get to see early on. To, to put in an extra play or two, to have an opportunity to fine tune that trick play that you're going to run just that one game and you haven't done it all year. The extra practices, the extra time with the kids that you're allotted to do that. Coaches have told me about those things for a long time and this is a really big deal playing in a bowl game. So a shout out to all of the athletic directors, to the coaches, to the athletic department staff and staffs who have said, yeah, we're going to put in the extra time. We want to see our kids go to a bowl game and that you made the trip to Texarkana and that you took the opportunity to play in another game because you had to accept an invitation. It wasn't mandatory. You didn't have to do it. 
there have been teams who've said no. There have been more than one team who said, no, we're not going to go. I want to give you the shout out to say, good job. You did well. Thank you for taking your teams to Texarkana. Thank you for giving your fans something else to cheer about as the season winds down, to give your players one more memory, one more opportunity to put on a uniform. Football has only so many games in a year. Not that many. You gave them one more opportunity to put that uniform on and to have fun. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for being a part of the Live United Bowl all these years or even just that one year. It meant something to all of your fans, and it was work. You didn't take the playoffs or bust mentality. Thank you for doing what you did. So shout out to you.